My personal mission is to revolutionize the way the world eats. I found Nativa in 1999. Nativa is an NGO that's disguised as a brand that makes money. We've given away $3 million to date. So like for instance, we help sponsor the Bioneers Conference here. Um, we're putting in a fruit tree orchard at every public school in the city of Richmond, California, where we're based in. We're sponsoring growing of like 700 chestnut uh, seedlings that we're going to distribute to like ranchers in California and Washington to kind of diversify their ranch income and more for agroforestry. We work on school education. The challenge today is you need to learn to discern the truth. You can't, you know, count necessarily on the quote expert doctor or the scientist at your local university that that you know is 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 uh, you know getting paid by Monsanto to uh, influence their research, etc. Industrial agriculture is killing the soil. And you can do that for a period of time, but eventually the soil is no longer storing the carbon. And the carbon now is, we have too much carbon in the atmosphere, too much carbon in the oceans, the oceans are becoming acidic. Ironically, agriculture is not even, <clears throat> and oceans are not even on the discussion at the, at the climate uh, summit. This is outrage. And the oceans are becoming acidic. Why? Because there's too much carbon. Where's the carbon coming from? from industrial agriculture and we can, re we can re the thing is we can take all that carbon put it in the soil and what do we get out of that? We get more food, more nutritious food, we conserve water and we increase that, you know, habitat. So it's a win-win. I've been an environmental activist for over 30 years. In the early 90s I felt we had hit the wall and wasn't going to win. But then I just felt, well what am I going to do? So I felt like I'm going to just going to go for it and do the best that I can and um, you know I think on a spiritual level I'm not my body anyways I'm more than my body so um, and I've always I've always felt like that that there can be miracles there can there's some there's can be something happening that you don't necessarily know so if you just show up you do your thing and you know maybe maybe something else will happen <laughs>